Nepal, a beautiful country, rich with history, culture, and nature. A land of lush flora, exotic fauna, and the tallest mountains in the world. Nepal depends on sustaining a pristine environment for tourism and agriculture, the most important components of its economy. Maintaining this precious environment through well-managed natural resources is also a priority of Nepal's Institute of Forestry. As the first and only institution in the nation to commit itself to professional training in forestry and natural resources management, the IOF fills a critical need in the future of Nepal. Established over 60 years ago in Hitota, and now with its main campus in Pokhara, the IOF offers its undergraduate and graduate students technical certificates, bachelor's, master's, and doctoral degrees. Current curricula include technical areas such as agroforestry, ecotourism, community forestry, rural development, watershed management, park and recreation management, and wildlife management. Campus facilities include classrooms, libraries well-stocked with books, scholarly journals, and digital databases, computer labs, a GIS training center, forestry museums, research laboratories, off-campus research sites, nurseries, and demonstration forest. Study tours and field excursions are an integral part of the hands-on training. Various scholarships are available and students from around the country live and eat on campus. Many of the Institute of Forestry's faculty scholars also live on campus, fostering learning opportunities that extend beyond the traditional classroom. This unique residential learning community is producing the next generation of committed conservation specialists, determined to make a difference in their country and play a part in the future of natural resources management in Nepal. We Nepalis are rich in culture, rich in natural resources, and we have still to do more in the, uh, in the sector of natural resource management. Uh, Nepal is a developing country, but it is, much, uh, it is richer in biodiversity as well. And being a, being a forestry student, I can uh, tackle the problem like the biodiversity, uh, in, a problem in environment, problem regarding natural resource management. Maybe I cannot solve the problem with the whole country, but I can solve the problem of the local area in which I live or in which I will go to work. Our country has great potential that 40% of land cover is forests and we have to improve. I just uh, want to fulfill my dreams, know about and do resources and which the, about the animals which are in danger and to protect them. The IOF is a research-based institute where scientists explore better ways of sustainability to preserve Nepal's diverse ecosystem, addressing practical problems of farmers in rural communities, while teaching the necessity of field research and mentoring students' own research. Well, Institute of Forestry is uh, the only institute in Nepal which trains uh, students uh, and human resources for better management of uh, uh, natural resources in the country. Two uh, research projects are working on community forest uh, and collaborative forest and uh, basically uh, one research uh, is being carried out on litter management in community forestry. We can tie up how litter is not only linked with the sustainability of forest but also the, uh, for their livelihood. So this is not the completely biophysical study but also mixed with the biophysical and social research. From the beginning, I'm involved in uh, women's participation. And here also, we are doing the same work. Yeah, women's involvement in community forestry and uh, their involvement in uh, forest management activities and social uh, part also, whatever they are doing here. Wildlife conservation is a very focused area of uh, uh, teaching and research at this institute. So uh, this uh, laboratory, being a wildlife laboratory, uh, initiating a very preliminary work on research and wildlife, like the tiger, can become a very important model project for students and teachers. In Nepal, 70% of the population, they earn less than a dollar in a day. And their livelihood is very closely tied with their uh, with the natural resources, particularly forests, for energy, for energy, food, housing facility, and mm -hmm. other things. 
for country like ours in developing country, the socio-economic and biophysical uh, aspect of research should go hand in hand, and that has to be you know, very closely linked each other. If uh, Institute of Forestry give uh, this sort of knowledge to the students, and uh, through its extension activities, if we reach out and make uh, uh, make it useful uh, for. The ordinary people, ordinary people will also be aware of what environment is and what, how it can be uh, made sustainable. Over the years, with help from other governments, NGOs, and such agencies as the World Bank, the International Development Agency, and the United States Agency for International Development, the IOF has continuously served Nepal, its land, and its people by helping conserve the natural resources so vital to a stable economy and a good quality of life. The Institute of Forestry is a center of excellence, well positioned to help preserve the future of Nepal.